let's get up and running in Ableton Live. Now, this over here is where we switch back and forth between the session and the range view. Let's work in the session view. You can also use your tab key to do that. Now we've got a MIDI instrument here, and if you want to make an instrument, just go to the Live Devices browser, click on this little arrow, and grab a preset, and drag it onto that channel. Now if you've got another channel, we can go to Create MIDI Track. If you just double click, that'll also load it. If you click this, hit Delete, we don't need it anymore. Now if you want that to make noise, you got to hit this Record Enable button. And this button up here needs to be on so your computer keyboard is triggering the sounds. Or if you want to use your MIDI keyboard, you don't need to use that. Okay, so now we're going to do this uh, as Record Enable. Last thing, we're going to turn on our metronome, which is located over here. Yeah, that is awesome. Now we've got a MIDI clip with some notes in it. And we can click these notes, drag around as we want um, to line those up. Now a faster way of doing that is right-click, quantize. You can go to quantize settings so the current grid is going to snap those all to the grid. There's a little part there. Great. Now if uh, we want to record audio, we can see extension in and there's the signal from my mic. And here it is again. And that's about it. Now we can also drag different effects. And all you gotta do is drag those onto the actual track or down here. Uh, see this button right here? This is your help view. Anything you hover over is going to tell you what it does. I would definitely use that because it's awesome.